Before talking about satellite communications, let's begin our discussion on orbital mechanics. So, let's start with an overview of our discussion. I'll begin with the discussion of the two-body diagram. The two-body body diagram will allow to derive the conservation of mechanical energy as well as the conservation of angular momentum. From there, we'll also show what the trajectory equation is as well as providing you with the solution. So the two-body diagram will start off with this equation, this vector equation, r equals r little m, where m denotes the mass of the satellite, minus r cap m, where cap m is the denotes the mass of the Earth. Here we'll start off with a vector equation, and we'll show a diagram of this, how these relationships are shown. So right here, we have a coordinate system. This is y, x, and z. Here's the mass of the Earth located at of the Earth, and we'll have our satellite, little m, right here, and that's located at, let's see, right there, our little m. And then the difference, the location of the satellite with respect to the Earth coordinate system is r. So that's just the difference between these two vectors, r m, cap m, and r little m. Okay, so that's what the vector equation denotes. Now that we have this uh, equation of r equal r little m minus r cap m described, our next relationship is F equals ma, where a is the acceleration, and F is the gravitational force on the satellite, and R is, again, the location of the satellite with respect to the Earth coordinate system with a second derivative. In addition, we have this governing relationship, our gravitational relationship between the mass of the Earth and the mass of the satellite, and this is the force acting on the satellite. And you notice in this equation here, m and m can be used to cancel it. We'll see. However, gm, g is a constant, m is a constant, and which is equal to a mu, and we call all this the gravitational parameter. Gravitational parameter is associated with the mass of the planet as well as its gravitational constant force associated with it. So we can cancel the m in each one here and r right here divided by little r is a, just a unit vector. And simplifying this, canceling the little m's on both sides of this equation, we get what we call the vector differential equation for this two-body diagram. Now that we got the vector differential equation, we can now derive the conservation of mechanical energy. So starting off with this two-body diagram, or this vector derived from the two-body diagram uh, slide earlier, we have this vector differential equation. And now we'll take the dot product on both sides of this equation. So doing the dot product with r dot vector, so take this dot product and dot this product right here. We get this relationship now. Where we replace r dot with velocity of that satellite and r double dot with uh, v dot. Okay, But we know that r double dot is like the acceleration, so v dot is also the acceleration. All right. Based on this, 
we'd have this relationship right here and we note that uh, we have r dot r is just r times r dot okay from this relationship we can see we can cancel one of the r's in the numerator and it cancels one in the denominator leaving r squared now we note this equation vv dot is also be equated with d dt v squared over r and then we note that this relationship here the second term can be described this mu divided by r squared times r dot as the derivative with respect to time is minus mu over r All right. and if you note here we have the dt here and a dt here for these two terms and therefore we can replace these with this single term right here where d dt and all this term right here can be used which is equal to zero but what derivative gives you of some parameter here is equal to zero well it's a constant and in general we can integrate this into a constant where that gives us a e which is called the specific mechanical energy associated with this equation and c is just an arbitrary constant all right so starting with this equation here and we note that e is again the specific mechanical energy associated with this okay where c is an arbitrary constant and we can see here that this term is like the potential energy per unit mass so if I multiply by this m little m this will give us sort of like the potential energy but since there's no little m here it's the potential energy per unit mass and here you can see it if I multiply by m you can see that's sort of like the kinetic energy so it's the kinetic energy per unit mass so here if this is a constant if we have a lot of potential energy associated with the uh, mass of the satellite uh, then we have a trade-off between the potential energy and the kinetic energy so that's what deriving from the two-body diagram we get the, what we call the conservation of mechanical energy and because of the conservation of mechanical energy this will govern the dynamics of a satellite trading off between potential energy and kinetic energy so if it's going pretty fast near earth at a low orbit then it has uh, high kinetic energy and lower potential energy when the potential energy is high it's probably at a higher altitude and it's traveling at a lower velocity or lower kinetic energy and so that's what the conservation of mechanical energy gives you